Hey Vance, got to do a video here. Let me show you what I got. Try to, anyways. Uh, man, start out saying I love your channel, man. Love watching your videos. You're a great dude. Uh, what more can be said? Yeah. And 300 subscribers, that's killer, man. You know, it's just, you're a great guy. Love watching all your stuff. Love talking to you. It's killer. Uh, anybody watching this doesn't know Vance in the BK Lounge. He's Zep Pearl. Definitely check him out. Okay. Great guy. So, Vance wanted us to show what we got. Yeah, other than records and the typical VC stuff. So, and, uh, this, uh, music room is kind of busting with stuff, so kind of show what I can real quick without going too crazy and, uh, boring everybody to death. And I am a metal guy, like everything, but I uh, am a metal guy mainly, so, uh, there'll be a lot of metal stuff. So, if you dig metal, hang out, check it out. If not, hang out, check it out. Whatever. All right, man, let's kind of get started. What I did, I just kind of walked around the room. I've already filmed all this. Uh, I'm going to place it all together and see how it works. It's just easier just walking around and showing a few things here and there. So, uh, enjoy. And, yes, I know I have a problem. I'm a pack rat, especially when it comes to metal stuff. It's like if it's old 80s, you know, 70s hard rock stuff, give it to me, I'll keep it. <laughs> I can't throw it away. So, all right, enjoy, man, and uh, rock on, Vance. Okay, BC, uh, one of the things I collect or just hang on to are uh, ticket stubs like everybody else, I guess, in the BC. You see a lot of people showing them, and I've kind of framed mine here. This is, um, yeah, most of them. I've probably got another 10 or 20 in a box over here I need to put in a frame. Uh, listening to... Uh, Deke Leonard Iceberg right now. Guitar player from uh, Man. Pretty cool so far. But anyways, uh, and I'm anal about it. They go back in uh, al chronological, sorry, order. It's not alphabetical. So, like the first show I ever saw was uh, Foreigner with Jabria opening up in Pittsburgh. Motley Crue. What else we have here? Twisted Sister, Harrismith. There's a Kicks one with a uh, pick. I got it to show. They're actually filming the video for Blow My Fuse. We went and saw them. Uh, Wrath Child with a pick. Another Kicks with a pick. Wrath Child with two picks. Uh, that Aussie was with uh, Metallic, uh, Metallica opening up on the Master of Puppets tour. Uh, first time I saw Maiden, 87. And it just kind of goes on. Faith No More. You can see a change through the years. Lollapalooza, that's a Ramones ticket. Uh, Shell Crow with Wilco opened up. That was a great show. Sean Colvin with uh, Steve Earle. They both did acoustic sets. And that was amazing. Saw George Carlin before he passed away. Uh, Dark Side. Took uh, White to see that. Along with uh, Pearl Jam. And Maiden. Lots of metal. Roger Waters, Black Crows, a little bit of everything, Robert Plant, Metallica, Joan Jett, Def Leppard with uh, Tesla, who Tesla blew them off the stage, they were great that night. Anyways, let's see what else we got here. Okay, another thing I collect is uh, old magazines. Music magazines, mainly 80s, uh, the metal ones. I love them. Bought them as a kid. And here's a box full of, these are mainly circus, and these are ones I bought as a kid. Yeah. I even uh, years ago 
boarded them and bagged them. So uh, I'm going to take a look here what we got. These are all in great shape. This is from May of 83. Let's see what else we got here. It's November 84. Rat Dio Crocus D on the cover. Typical circus magazines. It was total 80s. Or total metal in the 80s and the 70s, you know, it was Zeppelin and all that kind of stuff. The Who. Circus was around for a long time. I think it started in the late 60s. It was 86. Jump way up here. A little tight. It was 89. Who's Who and Rock. There you go, those are circus, and uh, I don't know, I probably got six, seven of these kind of boxes full of different uh, magazines. So, uh, I don't know, let me grab another one real quick. Alright, grabbed another box here, and found this. Forgot all about this. I haven't seen it for a while, put it that way. It was my, uh, in the 70s when you joined Kiss Army, this is the packet. I think I'm missing a couple things out of it, but uh, for the most part it's there. And mostly in here is uh, Hip Parators, which always had great covers. Oh, also some miscellaneous stuff, so let's take a look here. There's a People magazine from 85, with Rock Gone Too Far, Madonna, David Lee Roth and Prince. There's the time issue from uh, 93 with Pearl Jam on the cover. There's a Metallica special. That's probably from the early 90s. Maybe late 80s. There's the first magazine I ever bought as a kid. Uh, it was a Kiss special. And it's rag. I read the crap out of this. and over and over. It's probably from 78 or so. Uh, there's a special magazine for the movie from the 70s. That's original from, I mean, I bought that back in the day. I actually have another one of those framed. There's Kiss on the cover of People magazine in 1980. Derek Carr. What else we got? Just Kiss Specials, Magazines, looks like that's from 86, uh, what else, I'm cover a song hits with uh, Vinnie Vincent, it's kind of cool. Let me get into the Hip Paraders. They always had the best covers, man. It's from uh, 83. Ozzy. Got back here a little bit. Def Leppard. Ozzy in 84. Pretty Quiet Riot. Iron Maiden in 84. Like Ozzy, huh? Very crew cover from '85. Get back here some more. Priest in '86. More Ozzy. <laughs> more crew. Priest in '87. There's a great metallic. I wonder if I can find it. This is a great cover. Docking in 88. It's full metallic F in 88. You can see the 
music changing a little bit. And what else we got back here? There was a magazine called Faces for a while. I don't think they lasted real long. Just kind of like Circus Hip Raider, just typical straight Jakey e. Lee cover. Thing. Anyways, I don't know, maybe we'll grab another one here. <laughs> kind of digging chicken these out. Alright, this box is uh, Classic Rocks. I'm not going to show you a lot of these. Everybody's seen the new Classic Rock. It's yeah, a bunch of newer stuff that are still being published. But uh, in here, I did find these. These are kind of cool. They're kind of like old uh, indie zines from back in the day and check out like Rock Goddess, Saxon, Malice didn't see them as much in the magazines back then very old, here's one with a great cover these were small, they were kinda like you know hand done they weren't big magazines. But man, I love these when I can find them. They're hard as hell to find. Alright, let's so grab another box. What the hell? I right, grabbed another one here. This has uh, some newer stuff in it. Like uh, EWBK, Spray Word. Words and bloody knuckles. I don't know. I don't think this is being published any longer. But uh, what's cool in this box is some fanzines, curious goods. It's cool. Power Mad, uh, Intruder, Eviction, Princess Pang. Like I say, these are yeah, just weren't easy to find even back in the day so I always grab them whenever I come across them Forbidden, Sacred Right, Mordred just done by fans Power Packer Loudness, Count Raven, Trouble Old Metal Report, another one of those uh, the first one it's kind of a more than a fanzine, but still, I don't think they did many of them. And Grinder, Crimson Glory, Mind Over Four, and Saint. Metal Mania. This is the fanzine out of uh, San Francisco back in the day. We got Metallica here, the Loudness, Saxon. Another Metal Mania with Metallica on the cover. Got no steel. This is like a newer, maybe 90s. Uh, what else in here? Sheet Metal. Again, a little more than a fan zoom, but still. Then there's Classic Rocks, and uh, that's cool. It's got uh, Angry Lore from the Nymphs on it. Magazine called Fizz. I'm a huge uh, Nymphs fan, so happy to find that. Alright, that's about it. I might, uh, so I'm gonna grab one more, then I'm done boring everybody with this. I'll grab my, uh, favorite box. Alright, in this box, pretty much, um, my favorite magazines. I've been trying to get all these and getting close, but kind of rough. Uh, this isn't one of them, but, uh, here's a Music for Nations catalog from back in the day. Kind of cool. Zappo on the back. But, uh, favorite magazine was Metal Forces. Just an incredible magazine from the uh, UK, Europe. It was number one from 1983. It's number two with Dio. Number four. 
see they were getting better as the issues went. Cover was great cover. King Diamond. Venom. Jump back here a little bit. Halloween. You see they weren't covering the MTV stuff as hard as uh, Circus and Hip Parader. They were doing yeah, much cooler, more underground. Then they did start getting a little more into the uh, commercial stuff there towards the end of the magazine. Ultra, Sephora, however you pronounce that. Mortal Sin, great Australian metal band. I mean, can't imagine another magazine having them on the cover. Sabbath, Halloween, with a flexi disc, Anthrax. It was just a cool magazine. It ran for, I don't know, maybe 10 years. And like I said, towards the end, it definitely got more into the commercial. Let's see what else in here. And then there's a bunch of Kerrangs. Got a ton of Kerrangs I need to put away. And a war. Over here. Warning. But. Alright, that's it for the magazines. Let's see what else we got. Alright, this is a box that I just threw like miscellaneous paper stuff that I find. Little posters or stuff out of records and. Yeah, I just hang on to him. I fear I just found this not long ago. Eddie Spaghetti, the singer for the Super Suckers, when he was on tour. Thing for Nile, which I'm not a fan of, but tossed it in there. Karma to Burn. Monster Magnet. Just little stuff like that. I love that Eddie Spaghetti one. Like here's a poster for Mastodon, come out of uh, Classic Rock. I'm not going to open all this stuff up. Another poster for somebody. That come out of, uh, of course, Double Platinum. Can't remember where I found that. Sometimes I find these kind of things in the wrong albums, you know? So, I initially started doing this, thinking, well, I'll put everything where they're supposed to go and all, but the box just kind of kept growing, and I'm like, well... Uh, I just got a box for him, whatever. There's a flyer for Destroy All Monsters. There's the gun. Found that somewhere without the album for Love Gun. And there's this kind of stuff in here. Kiss. Paul Stanley. Babylon AD. Uh, sprint out when I went to M3 Fest. Up here's the bumper sticker. Twist Tower Dyer. Killer newer metal band. It's a thing for uh, Warlord. You can see that. Then, you know, all kind of. That's for the Ace album. Which I'll probably have a record that needs it, but one for the Peter album, Peter Chris, Ozzy, Ultimate Sin. There's a signed uh, Dr. Mastermind, Matt McCourt from uh, Wild Dogs. There's two of them. I don't know where those came from. A lot of the stuff I can't even remember. That's out of a magazine. Priest for that new thing, I think. Uh, this is for uh, Cold Sweat. It's a little bio thing for the band when they were coming out, and that's uh, Mark Ferrari from Keel, the band he had after after uh, Keel. Thing for uh, Headbangers Ball Tour, Anthrax Halloween, Exodus. It's got all kind of stuff in it.
There's pictures and bios and Come out of a magazine. Roger Waters bag from the tour. Kiss bag from the tour. I don't know. It keeps going. This is Ozzy. More stickers. There's all kind of old posters. Old Metallica poster out of a magazine. I'm assuming. So, uh, like I said, it's kind of full of this stuff. These are uh, unused labels. Near where I live, there used to be a capital pressing plant. So, you, every once in a while, you come across odd stuff like this. I even have some that are blank. And they have nothing. This is for uh, the knack. Get the knack. And there's a bunch of them in here. Found those at a, for like a dollar at a uh, little junk store. Beetle souvenir program. I don't know. Found it somewhere. That came out of a box set. The Zeppelin. Is this for stuff from Metal Blade? This thing for the Omen album. Uh, Oz t-shirt, t-shirt. Uh, here's all the solo, Kiss solo album posters. Like I say, I find these around and usually they're not, I mean, I'm taking nothing out of albums, but it's just I'll find them at record shows or in a box somewhere to store so I'll grab it. What the hell is this? Villain. I assume that goes with an album. No idea. I don't know. That's kind of it. Like I said, it's just a box of Crazy junk, you know what I mean? Alright, let's see what else we got. Okay, in my videos, you can kind of see a little bit of the uh, bookshelf. Got one in the wall here. And this is pretty much 90% music books. Just, I love music books. I really like uh, reference books the best, and this shelf is definitely getting out of control. I need to straighten it up. Got stuff everywhere on it. But, uh, like up here, you know, there's, I like old monster movies, sci-fi, lots of that kind of stuff, but the robot, and comic book stuff, I used to collect comic books for years, and you get down here into the music stuff. Got this MC5 book not long ago. It's on the list. <laughs> Got to get to. Uh, this here is mostly punk. And then down in here is most all metal. Yeah. Love uh, reference books, and these are pretty much all reference through here. And then a lot of bios and stuff like that. More metal and then some uh, comic book stuff. But, and there's more books floating around here on another shelf. Some more books here. These are all tour books. I've showed all these individually. Big Calvin and Hobbes fan. In here in the picture. And, yeah, price guides and all that. And reference books. More books, more books, more books. And most of the stuff I pick up, uh, probably 90% of it, I get it when they're used, or not used, when well used and on sale. 
at uh, wherever, Barnes and Noble, you know, in the clearance section for a few bucks, five bucks instead of thirty bucks or whatever. And there's gear sitting everywhere, equipment. It's all cheap stuff picked up at Goodwill, actually. Except for that top EQ, I've had that forever. There's an Elvis liquor bottle. <laughs> And that's where all the magazines are at. They're pitched to get off the top of that thing. Alright, Vance, that's uh, pretty much it for now. <laughs> There's crap floating around here everywhere. This room is just out of control anymore. I need to get... There's uh, a bunch of Kerangs I need to put away, I was saying. But, so... Uh... Enjoy your channel, brother. You know, you're always sharing cool stuff and love watching your videos. So keep the videos coming. And uh, hope everybody has a good week. Later, VC.